This edition of Go Kenora is brought to you by Swift Cash. Welcome Good to morning. Tuesday. <laughs> As you can see that uh, Jack Dawson is uh, subbing in for Tracy Laffin, who is fighting a bug that has been running around the town. Did you see Dancing with the Stars last night? Don't, don't start. <laughs> do not start. I was, you know what? I was sweet reprieve. No, I, I, I like Tracy a lot, and I'm very sorry you're sick, Tracy, but... I know, I, I'm getting like these BBMs. Answer me! I'm like, <laughs> I'm busy in the morning. So <laughs> Now we had like a full slate of guests, and the, yeah. ti you know, tied and true, is that the comment? Tied and true, he's here. Yep. Mayor Dave. The illustrious Mayor Dave Canfield never missed Has the made show. it through, through that fog. It's foggy out there, if it you is. haven't noticed yet this morning. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it is pretty, when I got up this morning, I kind of looked out my window, and I couldn't even see Lakewood School. Oh, wow. So, yeah, That's it's, literally across the street. It is literally across the street. So, I mean, the weather this today is, the next couple of days, uh, minus the fog, it's going to be not too bad. So, the Gokunar weather brought to you by Casey's. Today, a high of four, low of minus one, with some sunshine as soon as the fog breaks, of course. Tomorrow, high of six, low of minus one with some cloudy skies. And then uh, slipping into the uh, Thursday, low of minus 13, high of minus one with some snow. That's a tree lighting night. It is tree lighting night. And speaking of it, did you see it? Beautiful. I, it just popped up. It really did. What? Yeah. Oh, 5.30 tree lighting. But when did the tree go in? Yesterday. Well, we'll save these hard questions for the mayor. Yeah. And I want to know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm giving a warning to the mayor right now. I want to know where that tree came from because it, it's been killing me. I don't know if they just grow up around the town. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you might have noticed there's a, a plethora of trees around here. Well, I know, but I don't. I think there's a bylaw that says you just can't walk down to somebody's yard, chop down their tree, and put it up in the middle of the town. Didn't your family donate a tree one year or offer? So your wife's you <laughs> <laughs> The mayor said that's why they do it at night. night. Yeah, you so wake up in the morning, it's like, what? I can see the road. Why? What? What's going on here? So, yeah. So, uh, I, this is the first time I've done the show since... Oh, it's been a long time, my Since friend. Since this, this run. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And speaking of this run, because February of last year is when we restarted. It was February last year. I think the 16th around that age. No, February this year. Not last year. This year. Yeah. All right. Sorry. It's coming up to your one year. Yeah. Season three. Three seasons. I know. <laughs> we, we last a month. And uh, yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. And yeah, you haven't been on in, in a long, long time. It's been almost a year. Yes, exactly. Well, you're a busy guy. Plus, you know what? I mean, you got you to keep the show together because Lord knows I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to my it. credit, I've only in, in a, almost a year I've missed one show. It's true. Mm hmm. My show we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the highest rated uh, show. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Uh, it was, you know, kids and all that kind of stuff. I was like that, uh, that Nolan Ryan pitcher guy that pitched a billion games in a row without missing one. A billion. Or whatever. It was. I'm wearing my, uh, my Kenora Warmth and Wellness. Because I got it yesterday for money, but I didn't get, I did put it on, but I didn't get to wear it. Yes. So I'm going to wear mine today for the show. Absolutely. Excellent. So as we mentioned uh, today on the show, uh, the illustrious mayor, Dave Canfield, is here. Like a trooper, he's always here when he says he's going to be here. So it's good stuff. Um, and then that, we just got some local uh, things we run down. We got a cool, cool contest. <laughs> I didn't even run a lot of local stuff off because we have so many guests. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll improvise. That's right. And improvise. We, we do have a great contest. Um... And all you have to do is answer uh, one question on Facebook, and you're in. Tell us your favorite Christmas song, carol song. Mm -hmm. You can go to, uh, you can email us at gokenora at shaw.ca or Facebook. Facebook? Yes. Facebook? Oh, there it is. Facebook.com forward slash gokenora. It's that easy. And you'll win a pair of passes. To the uh, G. Clef Music Men, which is going December 2nd, is a Sunday, 7.30, Health of the Knox Church. And Taylor. Lenmark says it will be sold out. Absolutely. It's that good of a show. Well, it usually is sold out. Well, yeah, all his concerts are always usually sold out. Right. I mean, the last one I saw was Julie Black, and that was fantastic. Who? Julie Black? Julie Black. Julie. It sounded like you say Jelly. Julie. You said that yesterday. Too. I'm like, it's Julie, not Jen. <laughs> I, say, I, I sound like I say a lot of things, or vice versa. <laughs> and all we really hear is wah, 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 It's wah. like the teacher from Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's right. It's good. <laughs> we should take a quick break and get Mayor Dave on here ASAP. Absolutely. <laughs> Go Kenora 
Sarah would like to thank Wind & Water Interiors for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Wind & Water Interiors, 326 2nd Street South. Wetlands provide essential habitat for hundreds of species of wildlife, including fish. But these habitats are disappearing fast. Help us save Canada's wetlands today. Ducks Unlimited Canada, active by nature. When you can't do it all, do what you can. Caring for others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Welcome back to this fantastic uh, like Tuesday morning. morning. With uh, <laughs> you're actually wearing the wrong. Look at you guys. Are like you wearing a tie? No. Nope. Like, no. Just it. All right, oh. fellas, take it away. <laughs> yeah, you have a tie. I should have had a tie on. Well, you know, you got a jacket, I have the tie, so together we have a full year. Christmassy uniform. tie or a Movember tie? Uh, mine's a little, mine's Christmassy. This is, this is, this is reflects my saintly white soul. You have nothing to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll just leave it at that. I'm trying to make myself, like, I feel like I'm, I don't know what to do with my arms. It's been a while. Just, <laughs> just go with it, relax. You How's Mayor Dave? Excellent. How's Movember going? You know what? It's uh, 10 days to go, mm -hmm. and every morning I get up and I'm going to want to shave this thing off. It's <laughs> just where it's starting to bug you, you know, and uh, yeah. but, uh, I will make it for the next 10 days, and, um, and then it'll come off nice. December 1st. So. Nice, nice. Did you, were you doing a lot of the pledges, and you are getting some? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it goes up on, uh, I guess, on Facebook or whatever, yeah, yeah. and the people make pledges. I think they... You just send the pledges in or, or however it works. Uh, if I come chasing people for money, because of course I collect the Alzheimer's, the Ride for Memories, right. and, and buttons and different things, and sometimes people see you coming and they run the other way. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, but if anybody wants to donate to Movember, excellent cause. And um, What should, do you, you, have, a do do you have a Movember page? Yeah, and um, I actually have to check with Melody uh, at the rec center because she's kind of in charge of this thing. And I mean, Rory signed up, Councilor McMillan signed up at the same time. So, and... Um, and um, he's coming along really good too. The only thing is, uh, Rory's comes in the same color as his hair. Mm -hmm. Mine comes in. Uh, this isn't shoe polish. This is. <laughs> 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 you got the little brush. It's the real color. It's just the real color. It's actually coming in that way. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you should make you feel younger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of a uh, what happened at council last night? I I showed up and you guys were already. We were already gone. You were already going. It actually went fairly Four good. Four o'clock, uh, you guys were. Uh... Yes, we had the uh, the brand leadership team that made a presentation on the the new brand, the new branding with the the boat. And, Can we have a? Uh, we didn't have an image. There. there we are. Right. What do you think exactly. of it? <clears throat> it's great. You know, the first time I seen it, it was I was kind of hmm, not sure. Mind you, it's changed a bit. It's um, uh, Mike Newton who who did that. Uh, Can we see it one more time, Jeff? I'll have a look quick, quick. And I think when, if you look at the bottom, that like there's your wave, the blue at the bottom. Yeah. Some people think it's a dolphin, like me. Um, and uh, then the yeah. green, of course, the sail, sail. or sailboat. Yeah. And there's the the oar up or the paddle on top, and it's uh, and the colors all mean things. I'm I do a really Red's poor job at explaining. Red's the power boat. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And but it's an, and even with the Kenora, like the way the A and the K and that goes, supposed to show some excitement or wave action. Oh, and yeah. uh, I think I've got that right. But it's the more you look at it, and, and now I, you know, it's been out for a while. We've been looking, and Mike's tweaked it different ways, and yeah. uh, and I think it's great. And and um, it actually got a very positive response from um, the was it last Thursday, I guess, when we we did last Thursday or Friday, and uh, we unveiled the 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 new logo, the new brand, and and that does that replaces it, like the tree and the rock, yep. sort of thing as as the brand. And, um, oh, so you guys are going to replace all of the yes. tree in the rock? Yeah. Oh. That'll be gone. And the, the corporate logo, like this one, um, the old corporate like... logo, this is the bridge and that is right. originally from the amalgamation. And we're not sure what we're going to do with that yet. If we're going to keep two, we did. We had it before the corporate logo and the brand, the tree, the rock. So now you have the boat, 
um, which displays our, where we want to be as the premier boating destination in North America. And, and uh, the one thing that we've been explaining a lot recently is that um, we, you, you don't just become the premier boating destination. I mean, this is a journey. This is a journey that the whole community is going to have to get involved in. This is a journey where we're going to need a lot of volunteers. We're going to need the private sector to step up to the plate and, and, and help out. Um, you know, people have stopped me and said, how can we be the premier boating destination? You know, this boat ramp needs fixing. We don't have enough dock and everything else. I said, well, that's our destination. That's where we're going to be. And to fully implement a brand takes probably five to ten years. Yep. So it's a matter of getting volunteers, uh, which Kenora is um, unbelievably wealthy in volunteers, and the private sector to step up to the plate. And um, I believe Two Bears Marina here has just been bought, and I, I think the new owner has some visions in fact they've really bought into the whole concept of the premier boating destination and they're and they're gonna they're going to help us i mean they're going to do their part yep. as a private sector you would hope you would hope he bought a marina he, he bought a marina <laughs> he wanted to be on board <laughs> and exactly and he's he's bought in a lot of property in Kenora. he has a lot of uh interest and and really believes in Kenora and, and believes in the direction we're going behind the uh wharf the marine new 104, mm -hmm. the new 104 right is that him as well i don't I'm not sure if he owns that. It's the Chia Group, which uh, of course owns the Grey Sand and owns right. uh, Wharf Marine on the lake where the Grey Sand is, and um, the old Lakeside Laundromat, um, and they have some fishing stuff out of oh, there. I think, so, oh, they took that one too. <clears throat> so I, I, oh. I think they've they've got. We don't know all their plans, but we know that um, um, they're definitely they bought into the Canar concept. They bought into you know our vision of the future, and and they're going to be a big part of it. And we think um, I know Gary Hall from Northern Harbor is really keen on this too. He was there, really liked it, quite willing to be involved in it. And I think we're going to see more and more and more of the private sector step up to the plate. And and um, you know eventually you'll see. And when you look over here, where Two Bears is, just the the opportunities in this area because it's kind of like a sheltered harbor, and all the way through to Kenora Forest mm -hmm. Products and. And when you take a look at that, and you um, if you, you can eventually see that with you know more boats and docking facilities, and and um, you know really done up pretty, and and if you've ever been to Miami, I mean uh, you can just visualize the Miami of the North in in through here and, and, and other parts of the community. So we're looking forward to it. We um, we think it's going to be great. Well, it is fantastic, especially in the, now that we, you know there is direction and people are getting on board, especially people like who aren't originally from town. Like this, uh, this group that's that's bought in. I mean, that's encouraging the fact that people who aren't from here are getting on board with this Kenora concept, and just kind of gives it so that the local people will will kind of step up too. I like it. Well, and it's you know it's the whole concept of uh, more festivals, more because of course boating you can only do so many months of the year. Uh, no, I'm not sure if the shops that um, sell boards and kayaks and all that kind of stuff. No, I've always thought there's got to be a, a board that you can put a sail on it and whip across the ice with it. I mean, you can, you, you, yeah, you can do a, like you, your, your board and your, your, you know, the individual kind of little sail boards you get on yep. with the sails and, and you go around in them. So, I mean, why couldn't you do that in the wintertime across the ice? I'm sure you can. There's, maybe there's something out there. I don't know if there is or not. But another idea, and the thing is more festivals, more eating establishments, uh, uh, more of a destination where people want to come. And that means that the, the downtown uh, businesses have to buy in. And, and um, this comes up time and time again is um, when you come into Kenora, even in the summertime on a Sunday evening, you need a place to eat. And if the restaurants are closed, that's not going to work. You need yeah. people to be open and you need, and, and you, you know what, people are, are, are going to start these businesses and they're going to be open and they're going to provide what the customer is really looking for and what the tourists are looking for. And, uh, and I'm, I'm quite confident. I've, I've seen, you know, um, somewhat of a, a change in attitude. We're seeing, um, you know, more businesses move in. And um, I think it's going to be, I think the future is bright. Absolutely. You know, Tracy's at home throwing stuff at the TV right now because she's not here talking tourist stuff, right? <laughs> That's her passion. She, uh, Tracy loves it. You know, she's, she's been instrumentally involved in all this stuff for years, and, and uh, she's a great volunteer and really likes to get involved. And in she's good stuff, at so. it. She's a good yeah, advocate she for she's got Kenora. She's got that personality to sell, Absolutely. you know, and to, to sell customer service and to sell the experience sort of thing. And, right. So what happened at council? After it was that. it was a lot of um, it, it was really a lot of council last night was a, a fairly large agenda but a lot of it was just kind of housekeeping issues things that you you, you just have to do uh, of course we have a new student counselor Jared McLean who was sworn in as a student counselor last night and uh, so he's there till till next June oh, wow. I believe it is so looking forward to it he um, <clears throat> he's uh, 
quite keen and we asked him if he just wanted to come to council meetings or council meetings as a whole. No, he's going to come to all of them. So that's good. We Very good. get some of that student um, student power, is that what you call it? Yeah. Student input. And, yep. and uh, so we're looking forward to that. And, and uh, he's a bright young fellow. In fact, he also won uh, one of the golden or the silver Jubilee, Jubilee. Diamond Jubilee Diamond. Awards on, on Friday night at the Discovery Center. Uh, there was eight recipients. Um, um, of the Diamond Jubilee Award, which is a beautiful celebration. I mean, it was, it was it was gorgeous, done up very well, and we want to congratulate all the people. I I'd try and name them all, but I would forget some. <laughs> so uh, I just want to congratulate all of them people. Excellent. Uh -huh. Well, while you're here, I have a beef. Oh. I got a beef with uh, Chris's email is Chris Jones. <laughs> no, it's actually I uh, we've, we've talked a little bit about our camera, but uh, <laughs> go, go there you go. You can just anything you want to say, just email it right there, and it'll be part of my uh, election campaign in two years. So, <laughs> um, gas prices. Can I be your campaign manager? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's worked for you, so I'm well in. Um, gas prices. Yeah. Because uh, we talked a little bit about he it. He has a beef with gas prices. Well, I know that's right. I wasn't saying, yeah. not, not a beef with you. I'm just saying you're you're an advocate for uh, gas prices. You know, it's it's um, I, I, people stop me on the street and and they say like, what's going on with the gas prices? And and uh, and uh, it's buck. It's still a dollar thirty a liter. Mm -hmm. A dollar thirty point nine, dollar thirty one really. Uh, Winnipeg is somewhere I think around a dollar twelve. I've heard. Um, not really sure. I think Toronto's even lower than that. Um, oil has been 85, hovering in that neighborhood between 83 and 90 for the last month. Um, again, we should be down around a dollar a liter. Absolutely. And with the 11 cents more tax in Ontario, we pay more tax than the rest of the world. And so that you add that on, and you're still, if you go by the philosophy of the oil companies, um, if it's a 100 bucks a barrel, it should be a dollar a liter. And that's their numbers. That's their philosophy from years back, as I mentioned before. And uh, so, why are we paying 130? And I think the upsetting thing for people is we don't mind. We live in an open market system. We believe in it, and yet we're being ripped off by the system that we believe in. And mm -hmm. um, it's it's not right. I mean, um, it's not like the oil companies are suffering for money. <laughs> and exactly. probably one of the only <clears throat> industries that's actually making money. And um, but at the same time. The provincial and federal government is really no um, no incentive for them to push the oil companies because the higher the prices, the more tax there is on it, so you, the more you make. But at the same time, I understand we need tax dollars, we need revenue to run our country, but um, if we're going to be in a market system and it's going to be an honest system, then it, it has to be honest, and, and we're bitten, we, we are being ripped off. And they're putting it all into one as opposed to, I mean, we pay tax on everything, yeah. but that one's the most blatant because you drive by. And it's weird that it's every sign. Every gas company. Well, and that's like not one of them is taking the initiative to say, you know what, we are kind of ripping them off. Let's do this, and do it right. And as our our student uh, counselor last week had uh, used to work in the gas station, said, don't don't pick on the messenger because uh, these people working in in the service stations, um, they don't set the prices. It's strictly the oil companies. And yeah. I mean, I have family that own gas stations, and 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 you have no control over the price. The oil company. Uh, tells you what the price will be, and if somebody drops their price, you phone, and you have to get permission from the company that you're buying uh, gas off in order to drop that price. So don't shoot the messengers, folks, when you go into the gas. It's not the kids' fault. It's not their fault. <laughs> they don't set the prices. But um, send letters to the oil company, email the oil companies, find out their emails, all the uh, the uh, senior VPs and CEOs, and, and, uh, and just um, <coughs> keep sending them emails and, and complaining. And... Um, and, um, and challenging them. You know, why are you not following a real true market system? Unless it's just a true market system where there's only one winner. Which is them. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mayor Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you. Was, you could have filled the full so, half hour. So the, next one, so the next one is Christmas. Or the, it will be the Christmas show. You realize it's almost December. Are you coming uh, in for that yes. Christmas? Are you, are you doing one sure. of those? Are we? I imagine you are. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, we'll make us. You have to come in and do your mayor's message anyway. I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not I, I, I think I'm in for December. Yeah, we'll find. Oh, out. Absolutely, you are. But you if are. I'm not, I could go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> You're in. We're gonna take a quick break. And uh, no offense, but she brought food, so our favorite guest is here. <laughs> Jody Pellegrini. Usually, we a lot better looking too. <laughs> <laughs> take a quick break, and Jody's going to join us.
Joe Canora would like to thank Swift Cash for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Swift Cash, 531 Park Street. Welcome back, everyone, and welcome, Jody. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good See, now I'm happy that Tracy is not here right yeah. now. Yes, <laughs> Trace, you no missed offense. out. This is, well, you know, the best part is, is uh, as I said before, this is the best dude Christmas gift ever, I just so my, you're lucky you're here. I got my hand slapped. I'm like, I'm going to try one of the balls. She's like, no! Hand <laughs> slapping. Well, you gave me that. Right. Sorry. So, Joey, it's I'm more mom. dramatic. It's more I'm a dramatic. mom. Okay, smack. <laughs> Tell us what's going on here. We got... Okay, so 20. this is kind of the after kind of thought, but what we do is these are frozen snickerdoodles. And what, snickerdoodles. What they are, they're just cookie dough all wrapped up, and then they're going to be... Oh, he's going to eat before I... Uh -huh. It's okay. So basically what it is, oh. I'm going to have them in packages at the craft sale. They're snickerdoodles, they're all ready. You take them out of the freezer, you throw them in a pan, and you just basically cook them, and away you go. And if you keep them in the freezer too, because there's three dozen per, ca mm. per package. Oh. Thank you, Jody. You're welcome. Those this is a snickerdoodle? Snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle. What's in a snickerdoodle? Well, lots of stuff. It's kind of like a shortbread butter cookie slash mm. sugar cookie. And then it's rolled inside of cinnamon and sugar. It's really good. Oh, wow. That was a close-up of my chewing. Man, these are, really, <laughs> these are really, really good. Thank you. Now, do you, do, good. you just do snickerdoodles, or are you doing other things as well? Well, I'm running the show. We're going to have three rooms booked mm -hmm. on Saturday, November 24th, from 9 to 2 at the Best Western Lakeside Inn. So all three rooms are solidly booked. We have 62 vendors. Wow. We have tons of people coming, so I'm running the entire show. And because I'm running the entire show, I'm going to stick with the snickerdoodles. Yep. And I'm also doing red pepper jelly. Ooh. And then I'm taking care of the, the sale. So I'll be busy. Well, wow. literally running. Yes. I'm, I'm guessing those are just as good frozen. Okay, you can have, it's probably not frozen frozen anymore, <laughs> but you can have it raw dough if you get sick. Oh. Are they, they good? Oh, yeah. My wife would be so okay. jealous I right mean, now. Well, see, you know what? I'm eating cookie dough. Because that's, that's that's half the best part of making cookies mm -hmm. is you eat the cookie dough. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't oh. make it from that stage, that stage at my house. <laughs> oh, these are these are good too. So, mm, craft sale. Yep. Um, this Saturday. Yep. What you need to do is you. Everyone needs to try these. These are great. These are very very good. Oh. I will have some available that will be in the frozen state in a Christmas container. You'll get three dozen frozen mm -hmm. for fifteen dollars. I'll also have them already made and you'll get a dozen for $5. So whatever that kind of thing that you want. And the proceeds are for? The craft sale, the whole entire craft sale, we have 62 vendors. $5 from every table mm -hmm. is going to Hope in the City. Nice, right? Um, we have a couple of uh, fundraisers that will be there that have their tables are donated and like it's a dog's life. Uh, the church is gonna have one. Um, there's a, a few different people who will be there. There's a girl who's going to be there, Rebecca Pillipow, that I had mentioned last week. Yep. She's doing fundraising. Uh, she does all crafts. Um, beautiful, beautiful work. 
Nice. So I have a question about craft sales. Yep. Because I was a little, I, I, I got confused because it's now the craft season, but every weekend there's more craft sales yep. and more things. So you started this one. Yes. It? Okay. How long have you been doing this? Approximately five years. I, mean, I try to do two a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So it, was it just a, was born out of a need that you, uh, there's no space for the craft sales or you just want to do your own thing? How did you? Well, it was kind of a bit of everything. Um, I'm very old fashioned and I'm a stay at home mom. Right. So I need ways to uh, do revenue. And I used to sell Tupperware. Now I'm kind of going more into the baking and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to have um, something, I wanted it to be different. Um, I've gone to a lot of craft sales and a lot of them are really, really good, but I wanted this one to be more uh, community orientated, more fundraising, more, um, like I, I try to build a relationship with a lot of the people who are my vendors right. so that it's fun. It's not just, here's your 30 bucks, here's your table and carry on. I, I just wanted to do some stuff that was fun. Do you want to list some of your vendors? Yes, if I could. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you, They're supporting the company. You guys, you guys eat. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. You, you know a way to shut us up. How much time we got? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to have Tupperware. Mm -hmm. uh, a whole pile of people are going to be making some homemade jewelry. We're going to have Steep's Tea. Arbonne, um, my friend Dainty Lace Photography, she's new to Kenora. Mm. Phenomenal, phenomenal photographer. She's actually going to do some um, really neat photography for my children. She's cool. going to uh, take the three children and wrap them in Christmas lights and then put duct tape on them. So they look like they're kind of like <laughs> stolen and wrapped up in the front of the Christmas tree. Nice. I just think that's a dang good idea in general. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to leave him there. I'm kind of torn about the duct tape. I might get like, like you know, pretty ribbon and just tie it or something, but I don't know. We well, have to worry about mustaches yet, so you're okay. Yeah, true. Um, Silpata so Jewelry, which I'm wearing today mm -hmm. from uh, Lois Bailey. Uh, she does a lot, a lot of donating as well. So Is um, that the one Tracy's wearing? Yes. Yes. Uh, Sunset Gourmet, Common Scent Bath. Now, Common Scent Bath is really neat. Uh, Tara Gallic has pretty much created her husband actually kind of created it and they kind of do it together. It was all out of uh, like making gifts for his wife and that kind of thing and it just escalated so it's really, really good. Cool. Um, Dinner on a Dime, mm -hmm. It's a Dog's Life. Uh, there'll be Knitted Crafts, Norwex, Mary Kay, Sensi. Uh, there's a lady who's making Christmas wreaths out of bulbs. Beautiful, big, big Christmas mm. wreaths and they're all different colored bulbs and stuff like that. Uh, Beauty Control, USANA, Watkins, Uppercase Living. Keep going or take a break? Real quick. Okay. We're running out of time. Uh, you bake. <laughs> there will be some photography people. There's going to be uh, Discovery Toys, chocolate, um, mm. balanced by chocolate, so it helps you lose weight. Oh. So how do you get better than that, right? Right. Oh, exactly. So I'm watching our time here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Leah Sophia Jewelry, Pierogies, Avon, uh, Colleen Servant Photography. More uh, food. More food. <laughs> uh, Sturdy Gold Creations, Tina's Treats. She does baking. Photos and Crafts by Carla Jack. Uh, Bell's Bows, a natural path doctor will be there. Nice. Dave's traveling feast catering, um, Butterfinger beads, Angel Princess ponies, tons, tons and tons. It's like of an people. award ceremony. The music is starting. Oh, I know. <laughs> We're just like get. <laughs> you know what? We, we, hey, I got the cookies, guys. Stay. You can We're stay just gonna keep it. eating the cookies. We should do a quick recap of weather. The weather for the next three days uh, leading up to uh, the craft weekend is going to be fantastic. Uh, today, a high of four, low of minus one with a lot of sunshine. Good day. Tomorrow, high of six, low of minus one, cloudy skies, but excellent day. And then Thursday, uh, low of thir minus 13 and a high of minus one with some snow. I don't like that at all. But what are you going to do? Sounds like um, your craft, like there's a whole, you got a really good variety. Really Times. good variety Times. of stuff. So, can I make can I make one suggestion with Snickerdoodles? Okay. If you would put chocolate chips in that, <laughs> I would be eternally grateful. I think chocolate chips in it wouldn't be as good, but I, how about drizzled chocolate on top? Wow. Sold. Okay. Yeah. Hundred percent sold. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you come back next week? <laughs> I'm just gonna, so we have like seven seconds to say. Have goodbye. a great day. We're gonna eat some Thank Snickerdoodles. You very much for the we'll see you tomorrow on Hump Day. Excellent. Bye. Thank you.